Hello Aquarians and cross watchers welcome to your video so this is the afternoon quickie tarot we're going to see what wants to come out for you guys uh, this video is designed to be under 20 minutes I've already said my prayers and I want to be the first to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world and I want to thank each and every one of you for being here I value you and the divine values you and thank you thank you so much for being here I truly appreciate each and every one of you so show me what it is that I need to see for this reading, this little quick tarot reading. Show me what is the strongest energy here that I need to see. What is the strongest energy in the collective that I need to see that wants to come out here? Why? Okay. Anything else? All right. We do have a very good card on the bottom, which is Treasure Island, and that talks about going to a better place, okay? And there's a lot of love right here with those hearts. Um, and there's a face. I don't think you can see it, but if you can, there's a face right inside that treasure box. So you might be going in a better direction when it comes to something that you really want. And, you know, we have here community. It's eight. Number eight talks about abundance, infinity number infinity symbol and we have community we have two people or two giraffes who see each other in the community we have a, a novice spirit and a, a wiser spirit or an older spirit and a younger spirit so that's notable right there and we have why and that's number 31 which is turns to four so you could be seeing wands wands threes eights okay uh, mirroring numbers, 1331, um, stuff like that. Any numbers that are mirroring, because that just came to me strongly. You might run into somebody in some sort of a community, whether your physical neighborhood community or your work community, online community. And you might even be drawn to this video and asking, you know, why. All right, maybe you're wanting answers to something. Maybe something serendipitous happens and or maybe you literally come in contact with a person. You ever meet a stranger and you have the most interesting conversation. You just met them out and about and somehow you struck up a conversation and it ended up being the most interesting conversation. And you're like, I wonder what the purpose of meeting this person was. I wonder what the purpose of this was, because there are times we meet people on a daily basis and we can't even connect like that with sometimes we'll connect with a stranger. So. You might meet someone in the community, some community or forum, and have the most interesting conversation and just be sort of struck by that and like, I wonder why. Um, why did this conversation happen? Why did I meet this person? Um, what's the deeper intention behind it? Anyway, I could speculate all day. So let's just get into the tarot, which is going to tell the real story here. But you might find yourself asking why you've met somebody here. Or ran into somebody if you already know them we have man of cups <laughs> cancer Scorpio Pisces for me more can uh, Scorpio but it says the surfer and we do have this so interesting because on the bottom of the deck we have treasure island and we have happy happy behind that so literally this is called the surfer this is a person who can hold their emotions back it's a person who's very warm and has a lot of love to give it's a person who is emotionally mature okay but it is strongly linked to me with water energy scorpio energy fixed energy two of cups oh boy you know you you do you do run into somebody um maybe even going out to like you know i'm doing this reading for those who celebrate labor day i'm doing this on labor day um is i had plans and then it just started pouring down rain so i'm like you know what i can't do anything right now let me make my videos right now so yes I think you are going to run into somebody not clear if you know this person or you just meet this person um, at a place okay it could it could be a place in the community any forum online or not online and it can be a, a, a friend's house or if you know this person then you might run into them at a place you both frequent 
But we got a ten of cups, guys. I mean, this ain't nothing to sneeze at. This is a very, very good connection. This is Archangel Guidance with the art card. It is the Angel of Temperance, all right? It is the angel that brings and blends energies together. So I feel like you're destined to run into somebody, whatever, wherever you hang out at in your community, whether your local community or online community. And it's really, really nice. Wow. Major Arcana. I have um, the Temperance Angel, which is Sagittarius. I have the Wheel of Fortune, which is also Sagittarius. I have the Sage of Worlds, which is uh, Virgo. I have Hermit, which is Virgo. And I have Man of Cups, which is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, if you literally need any of that. Wands Energy here, which is um, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Seven of Crystals, that represents Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. It represents air. Let's get into clarifying. Tell me about this Man of Cups. Tell me about this Man of Cups. You know, the Hermit talks about a lot of reflection and, yeah, the Seven of Cups. This person, whoever this is, has got you thinking, all right? Or if it's you, they, you got them thinking. Somebody's thinking here, and it's whoever's in this Man of Cups energy. Maybe you have intrigued somebody recently <laughs> with one of your stimulating conversations, Aquarians. I don't know, but... Somebody's in their thoughts here and somebody I think and literally it talks about the surfer Maybe you even met them, you know at a beach or a place where there's water because I do see a lot of water But not everything is water. I also see some mountains and some desert area, too But somebody's thinking, you know What's the right Avenue to get me to the path to this person? Like I really want to Know more about this person and strong water energy, someone could even have it in their chart or in their moon sign. doesn't have to be a sun sign. This is somebody who is probably even daydreaming about whatever was said or spoken. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Again, it's very prosperous, and I feel like it's meant to happen. And I do feel like um, it's a conversation that takes place, but your boundaries are or there somebody you know the boundaries are up it's a good it was a good conversation or it's a good meeting a meeting by chance even tell me about this two of cups so it has somebody wondering i wonder if this is my person i wonder if this is my person we have the full and the reverse that's aquarius energy that's an energy of um it could be a new beginning, but it. But the thing is, like I said, it has somebody wondering about if there could be something more. So I don't feel it's a return person. I feel like it's someone you come across, and it has somebody in their mind. Now with Aquarius here in the reverse with the Fool card, and the Man of Cups in the upright, Seven of Cups in the upright, I feel that you've intrigued at somebody, Aquarius, and uh, this person is wondering if there could really be something between you. Tell me about the Seven of Crystals. I did see the Magician want to come out. Somebody is sort of sitting there thinking. Um, this might be a person who, I don't know, this could be a person who, right now they're just sort of sitting there thinking. They're contemplating. Um, and with that Seven of Crystals, they could be severely strategizing here of how to go about this. But they could also be somebody who um, is a little bit of wounded warrior position, a little bit somebody who might sabotage themselves. They could be like, oh, Aquarius wouldn't fall for me. They're too interesting or vice versa. Maybe it's an Aquarius thinking that. But I do have this water energy in the upright and I have the air energy in the reverse here. So somebody might be afraid to say what they feel. The King of Cups energy does hold back their feelings. Tell me about Hermit. It's a lot of thought about coming forward. I'm telling you, somebody is sitting back, sort of contemplating, not making a move, which is totally 
that type of energy, that King of Cups energy, feeling their feelings, not making a move, wondering if this is their person, the Empress. Okay, Venus energy, a Pisces here, Libra and Taurus energy. Tell me about the Hermits. Yeah. Even if you've met someone at work or someone you've talked to at work, because I do have, you know, this person's at work. Somebody in your community, wherever your little community is at, okay? Somebody's wondering if you're it, if you guys can be family, <laughs> you know, come together. The star card, they think you're it. I'm telling you, whoever this is, this is the bottom of the deck. This is the star and ten of cups. They think you're it. They think you are it. Again, we have family here. They might feel like they've known you forever. This is, you know, sharing a happy home together. It's the Four of Wands. You might be seeing 1111. Again, brought to you by Divine Guidance. We have Temperance Angel here, which is the one who blends energies, okay? And this person is in that energy of Six of Pentacles. You know, you could have met them in your community. You could have met them wherever you spend money or time resources you could have been the one receiving you could have been the one giving because six of pentacles that's a card of generosity but if you look at it on a more practical level when you take and you're going to go spend your money let's say you're going to go buy food you have several different stores to choose from to give your generosity to right you can go to this grocery store or that grocery store or this one over here that's also six of pentacles you're choosing who to give your generosity to and vice versa if you are a merchant and somebody comes your way someone's choosing to give their money to you so this is a person who you could have met them at any one of those places and they're just stuck thinking about you literally four cups and hermit is severe contemplation over you but holding back not saying anything tell me about the two of wands because someone's trying to figure out which direction to go do I go toward Aquarius? Do I not? Yes. They're holding back. This is the Eight of Cups reverse. Sometimes it can talk about a return, but sometimes it can talk about staying where they're at. And that's a lot of energy here. So you may not know this person. This, is, this could be an energy of someone just staying put because they don't know if you're the one or they don't know and maybe it would change your relationship with this person you know maybe if you do work with them or you see them in your community and you know somebody says hey you think you want to go out or you think you know they want to get to know you and then what if it doesn't work out how would it be seeing this person in the community it would be very awkward right so there's an energy for me. I feel the Eight of Cups is not a return because nothing else here came out as a return. But I do feel it's somebody holding back because it can be that energy. Someone is literally holding back because maybe it will change things in how you and them interact. Because this is a person that you know, but not really, um, you know, you haven't interacted with them romantically. And it doesn't seem like it's somebody that you know on a personal level but you have there's some interest there okay maybe you've even had an interesting conversation tell me about the sage of worlds that's virgo energy and we have the page of pentacles so it looks like it's taken this person a while to speak and maybe they're burdened by this um maybe that's about to finish because why is it coming out here <laughs> or maybe you're picking up the cues from this person it's taken somebody a while to approach, but they really want to with this Eight of Cups. Yeah. Again, you know, it looks like they're going to lower their, their, their guard, all right, because this is a person can have their protection barriers up. Um, really nervous about a new beginning. Nervous if you say yes. Okay, what, what's the next step? This is probably also a shy person. I feel like a shy person when it comes to you anyway. But they think you're the person. I have the King of Cups and I have the Queen of Cups. This person really thinks you're their, you're their person. Like, I guess they feel it. Maybe there's an intuition with this. Maybe they had a dream. The Seven of Cups can't talk about a dream. Tell me about fortune. Fortune. 
there's a lot of success to be had if this person comes forward okay Gemini energy with that knight of swords but we have Aquarius in the reverse thing is I think it's um, I think it's prosperous but I think you're not aware of this okay Aquarius is in the reverse twice so I don't think you're even aware that this person has an interest in you and I think that this person um, is sort of talking themselves out of it but I feel that there it's actually building the tension within them is building to just say something reach out maybe even just start with a little flirt you know and see where it goes a little cue so pay attention to somebody who might do that all right tell me about art yeah and if it's a person who's been single or dating or Sagittarius or another Aquarius here um, there's two cards of Sagittarius right here somebody is about ready somebody really would I think take their self themselves off the market it could be even an age difference because this is a younger um, a younger energy but it could be just um, just a level like somebody doesn't feel like they're on your level and so that can even show up here but definitely could be a little bit of an age difference or a lot of an age difference we have the night but somebody is very emotionally mature okay it could be somebody who you know acts like a kid but they're not you know they just sort of act like that anyway I don't know who it could be I'm excited for you guys <laughs> I think it's someone shy your advice card or no your bonus card we're not giving advice your bonus card new moon in libra know you are loved you might have a libra who has a crush on you but there's a lot of signs that are out here guys anyway thank you for tuning in for your afternoon quickie somebody is interested in you not saying it i love you guys see you in the next one namaste